So, looking at it from a box point of view, we have the logo rocking on the top corner. We have the Vare Series V2315 15 inch powered speaker, which in my opinion sounds like the best bang for your buck at only $300. The uh, 12 goes for $250, I believe. Yeah. So, looking at some specs, we have 2000 watts a variable DSP voicing, Bluetooth audio, smart stereo, and built-in mixer. So, not only did I get just one speaker, here's how it looks from the size of it, 15, but I got two of them because let's be honest, two heads are better than one, right? So, without further ado, let's check out the specs in the back. Right, so starting on the top, this is the, T the DSP uh, voicing module that they're talking about. Now, DSP stands for Digital Signal Processing. So these are the different modules that allow you um, to use the speaker for many different functions. So we have the standard function, which is just whatever the speaker is pumping out. We got the vocal boost, which just focuses on the highs and mids of your voice, not so much the lows. We have a live version where it is focused mainly for you people that do live band um, sounds, whether you want to plug in a guitar and sing along or you want to use it to enhance another instrument's sound, go for it. Um, we have the floor and monitor wall module, which means you can put it on the floor like a monitor or you can put it on the wall and it'll have just as great sound as it does for standard, right? So, let's look back at it. So now, we have the uh, board over here. We have channel one, two, and three. So you can put a, a mic, guitar, or a line, right? Mic, guitar, pretty self-explanatory. Lines are more for, hey, if you DJ or you have another source of audio to connect to, this is what it's for, right? And then moving on over to channel three, we have Bluetooth, right? So with Bluetooth, you have it off, you have it on. Now here's some word of advice. Um, because if you get two speakers of the same type, it is best that, and this is just me being um, suggestive about it, um, it is best that whichever speaker you connect to Bluetooth first, you should label that as the master speaker. So that way you know, hey, this one's the master and the other one's just the slave or whichever one you want to label it as, right? Makes it easier on you to connect to it easier versus, oh, which one did I connect it to? Um, so here we go. We have the aux cord, which is very handy. We got the quarter inch jacks for left and right. So I guess if you're using like a mixer board or any other forms of inputs, here we go. Uh, we got bass and treble. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Once we hear the audio, um, I recommend putting the bass dial a little bit to like around 1, almost 2 o'clock for a little punch, right? And then uh, here we got the um, built-in smart stereo. Built-in smart stereo. I almost said mixer because this is technically the mixer. So... Um, the smart stereo is, uh, we have mono, which is like the basic sound with standards and everything. Um, then we got smart, um, hold on, there we go. We got smart master, which connects all the inputs to the left unit, which would be your main one. Um, and then connecting to the right unit. So when you're linking them, you put this one first, right? This is what you put first on your master. And then on your second speaker, you put linked in and then you connect the uh, XLR cables to the varying um, inputs right now as for the front LED uh, light I'm not 100% sure what that really means based on what I read in the uh, manual it kind of expressed that this is more like your limiter you know when I first tried these out you could crank this all the way and it's not gonna clip on you. But personally, I wouldn't dare try to uh, push it over the limit, if so to speak. So, without further ado, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to test the audio. Right, so at this very moment, I am just a few feet away from the speaker, nothing crazy. Um, and right now, all the m levels, let's look at that real quick. So all the levels of the speaker, are at 12 o'clock 
if it'll focus. Here we go. So it's at 12 o'clock, roughly. Everything's at 12 o'clock here and there. And we have it set on Bluetooth. So I'm gonna play some royalty-free music so YouTube doesn't, you know, get on my ass about it. And yeah, so everything's at 12 o'clock. So this is how loud it's gonna sound at 12 o'clock. All right, here we go. So, um, I don't know <laughs> how much justice the camera caught from it, but I'm literally where I'm standing, um, I can feel the vibration of the bass, right? So, that's just one speaker, you know? Now, I'm gonna see how louder it can go when I move the dial at... So, here we go, let's go back here for a second. Right, so... We're going to move the dial around, uh, let's say, 2 o'clock, right? And we're going to put a little more bass, so like just around 1 o'clock right here, okay? So we're at 2 o'clock, a little more bass. So this is going to how it's going to sound like. Now, for the purpose of this next uh, demonstration, I'm going to step back a few feet away. So like all the way right here sorry for the mess you know how it is all right here we go this is at two o'clock with the bass about two o'clock ish all right so they're both around two okay here we go Again, I'm not sure how much justice the camera got of the audio, but that's exactly what it sounds like. Now, mind you, that's just one speaker. Imagine having two. So, some things I noticed that when I stand a little closer, and this is just common sense, yeah, I can feel the bass pumping more, but at the end of the day, this specific speaker focuses on the highs and mids, and then it also brings in a good balance um, with the bass, right? Now, they're not hardcore thumps, you know, they're not Mackies, but, you know, this does the job, and I'm very proud and happy to have, you know, a set of speakers that just dropped this past year of 2019 to, you know, really perform and enhance that DJing, entertaining sound quality. Now, if you ask me, um, the 15s are a good go for your bang for your buck. Because not only will these last you for a good time, but if when the time comes to get the uh, subwoofer, which is the V223S or something like that, um, V231S8, I don't know, something like that nature, but it's 18 inch subwoofer at 2,400 watts. So if you have these two bad boys and a woofer, you're good to go. So <laughs> we're going to do one last test of the uh, sound and we're gonna put it at, we're gonna crank it just a little bit, right? We're gonna put it, uh, we're gonna put the bass a little bit, I like got one, and we're gonna put the speaker at like three o'clock, right? We're just gonna see how loud it can go. Now, mind you, I'm inside a house and in a room, so I can't really just go outside and be like, let's see how it goes. That's why you, the viewer, if you choose to buy this lovely product, would have to check it out yourself. Besides, everything that I'm saying here is just my opinion. It's just what I feel. It's what I like. Um, yeah, go out there and explore and have fun. So, without further ado, I'm going to step back even more, <laughs> even more than I expected to, because I promise you this is going to get loud. All right, here we go. So, we're going to try the same song. And wait, 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 wait. Here we go. And action.
Again, like I said, I don't know how much justice this camera got of the sound quality, but I can assure you very well and loud and clearly that it is very loud, no pun intended. Um, so at a room setting, you could set it at 12 with a little bit of bass and you'll have the party rocking like no problem, right? Maybe you're in a little uh, bigger room, so maybe crank it like a two. The only time I would advise it to put around like three would be as if you're in an outside setting, only because you'll get your bang for your buck of the sound, right? So other than that, um, one last time to review, if you choose to connect both speakers, the goal is to set the master. Set the master at stereo master, which is the main one, the, straight down the middle. And then on your second speaker, you connect LinkedIn. So what's gonna happen is, pretend that this is the second speaker, right? This is the second speaker. The second speaker, all the mixer is gonna be dead, meaning nothing, you can't turn the knobs or anything because the master, when it is set, to stereo master, that is what controls the sound. So it makes it very much easier to control the uh, sound and volume quality um, from just one speaker and not having to worry about the second one. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, sorry if it was a little bit long and just me talking, but I hope that it explained and explored your um, sound senses to look into the Harbinger Vari Series V2315, the 15-inch power speaker. Alrighty, boys and girls, it's been fun hanging with y'all. Stay dancing, have fun, and don't forget, always be positive in anything you do. Alrighty, peace!